All right, well, how's everybody doing this morning? And welcome to another episode of Rob's West Virginia Bass Fishing. And this morning I'm on the Canal River. As you can see behind me, a few hundred yards, that's the Winfield Lock and Dam. And I'm down here a few hundred yards below it. We got a nice overcast morning. Hopefully there'll be some top water action going on. Uh, I got a whopper plopper, uh, one of my buzz baits that I make tied on, swim bait, and wacky rig. I'm gonna try to keep it kind of simple. It's air temps in the low 50s this morning. Water temperature still 65, so hoping we can get on something this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. We'll get this thing rolling. Please don't get off. That going this thing fight. Yes, I got me a little small mouth. Woo! -hoo! On the whopper plopper. Heck yeah. Oh, I was hoping this spot was gonna pay off today. Boy, he got it by the front hook too. Hope I can get him off. Boy, it's got, the front hook's got his mouth pinned shut. Look at that. Wow, he was not coming off. Oh, yes. I gotta get the pliers on this one. Just a little guy, but I'll take it. It's not a very easy river to fish from the bank. All right, now I might be able to get a lip lock on him. That's the little Canal River smallmouth. <sighs> Got him. All right, let him breathe a minute. Uh, see how uh, long this little guy is. I don't care how small they are, them smallmouth are a special fish. Oh. Ten inches exactly. All right, and we'll let him go back. Oh, 
little small mouth. Well, it might be a little bit bigger. On the square bill this time, KVD 1.5. Man, he's nailed it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm beginning to think I like coming to this spot. Hey. Woo, calm down, bud. Woohoo. Oh, wow. Oh. Man, I'm glad I came here this morning. I've never fished this place before. I mean, I've fished up by the dam and stuff, but never in this spot. This is my first time here. And uh, not gonna be my last. This one ain't very big neither, but smallmouth are special fish. All right, let's see if I can get a measurement on it. It might be a little bit bigger than that first one. Nope, that's another 10-incher. Got two 10-inch smallies this morning. Okay, here we go. And back he goes. one yet in the morning oh yeah oh this has been a good spot got one on the bitsy minnow that's two on the crankbait ah uh, easy bud ah uh, yes ah uh. Oh boy, man, he's got both hooks all in him. Uh, third little smallie in the morning. Uh, man, I'm really liking this spot. Three quarter inches. Uh, all right, we'll go ahead and turn this one loose now. There you go. <laughs> Comes a barge coming up toward the locks. There was one went out a little while ago. And there's the siren. All right, well, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. I've been out here all day and uh, getting kind of tired. You know, get home, get ready for work in the morning and all that fun stuff. But uh, it was a pretty decent day. It went better for me than it did yesterday at Rollins Lake. Um, now, I didn't catch anything at the spot I'm at now filming this segment. I was down the river about almost a quarter of a mile, but uh, I didn't catch anything up here. But I did catch three little smallmouth at that spot I was at this morning. That's the first time I've ever fished that place. I mean, I, I knew it was there, but and I thought about trying it this morning, so I went ahead and rolled the dice and it uh, worked out. Uh, caught that first one on a whopper plopper. 
it was a little 10 inch small mouth and that's a bone colored uh, whopper plopper 90 um, it's fishing on my lose mock 2 combo seven foot medium heavy action and i got it spooled with um, 50 pound test vicious braid so then uh, the second one i caught was on this uh chartreuse sexy shad uh strike king kvd 1.0 and uh it was a little 10 inch small mouth also and i was fishing this square bill on my lose mark rose signature series combo it's a six and a half foot medium heavy action and i got it spooled with 20 pound test vicious fluorocarbon and then the last one i caught uh it was a 10 and a half 10 and three quarter inch small mouth and it was on this white with a chartreuse back uh, strike king bitsy minnow and i was fishing that on my lose xfinity combo it's a six and a half foot uh, medium action i got spooled with eight pound test vicious fluorocarbon so uh that's how my day went uh better my day that rollins lake that i had yesterday definitely because anytime you can catch smallmouth it's a good day even if they are little and they even caught one on top water which is even better so uh i hope you all like this video and uh, if you're new to the channel i'd appreciate it if you could uh, give it a like uh, maybe subscribe to it and give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think and uh, i will try to get out and get another video done as soon as i can and i really appreciate everybody watching